everybody. Michael here from Get Fit Over 40, and I've got an update news video for everybody. Um, there's a show coming up in about a month, and I know I mentioned that that wasn't really on my radar. I think, you know, basically, after you go through what I went through, you just want to survive. Like, that was the goal, was to survive the heart surgery and to get back to a place where I could just do basic stuff, go for walks, hikes, you know, maybe go to the gym, do whatever it is I could. But as it turns out, uh, everything is fantastic. Um, people ask me, how are you doing? And, and I just, I'm like, well, I never felt better. Doctors, you know, hearts back to normal size, valves working great. Um, everything is great. And uh, the doctor's given me a clean bill of health. So go ahead, do it, whatever it is you want to do, essentially. Uh, you've got a life expectancy that would be normal at this point. Everything's great. So that all said, you know, I've been thinking about it and I've been playing around in my mind what I if I wanted to do a show and what would that show mean and what would that what would my involvement be how would I you know how would I prepare for a show like that with what's going on with my priorities being different now because you know to be honest if I do a show and and I am going to do a show as long as everything goes well and and again health is the most important thing if anything goes sideways at all if anything doesn't feel right I will just abandon it just like that because health is the most important. But, you know, my goals are different. My goal is to just show up and be somewhat competitive and just be able to say, I survived open heart surgery and here I am a year and a half later competing in a show. And, you know, just, hey, you know, no excuses. And I'm not saying that because I want to push myself beyond what my body can handle. I want to push myself to whatever it is my body can handle, okay? Not beyond that. And I am the kind of person that pushes himself pretty hard, but I have different expectations. I feel great. I'm about a month out because the show that I want to do, there's two actually, so I'll mention what they are. There's the Vancouver Open, and then there's the Vancouver, what is it? It's the Vancouver um, Pro international pro so i can't remember i'll put them on the screen so there's two shows there's one on the 6th and i think one on the 13th they're a week apart the first one is about a month from now so a yeah, little 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 bit makes five weeks or something like that four or five weeks so it's on the third on the seventh six or seventh i think there's a six and a seven show i will be doing the open show not the natural show so open meaning that it's it's not tested and the reason i'm doing an open show is because I'm on testosterone. I have no choice. Uh, if if I were to do the natural show, they would find testosterone in my system. It's not about how much. It's just they would find that I have um, basically not a natural testosterone. They can they know it's not natural, so they can test for that. It's not about levels. Even if my levels are fine, it's it's about the fact that I'm supplementing with with a, a not a natural testosterone. So I have to go in the open. Um, you know. Am I going to be at a disadvantage because I'll probably be someone taking a lot less testosterone than someone who's, you know, prepping for a show, um, taking, you know, five, six hundred milligrams of testosterone or more and plus other stuff. Um, you know, and that said, I've been on 60 milligrams of testosterone for a while now. I just got tested this morning, so we'll see what my results are. I don't even know at this point. Um, but the, my doctor has been basically trying to get me right in the middle of the natural of the, you know, natural normal ranges. And in Canada, it's between eight and 28. And, uh, he wants me around, you know, just around the 20. So that's right in the middle. Uh, is that ideal for going into a show? Absolutely not. Uh, I start, he started me out on hundred milligrams a week. Um, I was a little high. Then he put me down to 80 and his concern with the 80 was my PSA, wasn't coming down and that was his biggest concern not as much the levels but the PSA and so now we're on 60 and we've been doing that for like a while several months now and we'll see what that leads to did I lose a little size I think I did like going from 100 to 60 there's a tiny little bit of I mean it's almost half right like so 100 versus 60 that's almost um, a half reduction I felt really good on 100 I think 100 would be ideal for me I think that would be my ideal perfect number because it worked well for me um, but it is what it is now I want to be a hundred percent transparent I'm a month five weeks out I believe to the show so at this point uh, I will take a little more testosterone because that's you know not because that's what I have to do but because I I know it I can handle it I say that and when I say more I'm not talking like 
four or 500 milligrams. I'm talking, I'm going to do 200 milligrams a week. And that is still a TRT dose for many people. Lots of people are at that dose because that's what they need. I probably don't need that to be at the high norms. I'll probably be up and over. But I believe for that short period of time, it, there won't be any negative consequences from it. And then as soon as the show's over, I'll go back to my whatever it is my doctor wants me to be on. And so, you know, part of the part of the thing when you're working with a hormone doctor is you have to do what they say. You have to, you know, take the amounts that they're telling you because they're testing you and you're going to be accountable for that. And so that's why I've been taking the 60 milligrams so we can see what that does for my levels and my PSA. And my next test will be in about three months. So I have a window here where, you know, I can do this. It won't throw off what I'm doing with my hormone doctor because I'll have a couple months um, to recover, not recover, but rebound back to what my normal, what my goals would be. Um, and that one month of taking 200 milligrams is really not going to affect me. If, if, if for any reason I feel like things, again, are going sideways, if I'm seeing any side effects, too much water retention, anything like that, then I'll shut her down. Um, and that's the game plan. But I just want to be transparent because, you know, you're probably going to see a little bit of extra muscle mass happen within five weeks. And I don't want you to think that that's just what normally anybody can achieve just by training a little harder and eating better. Now, heck, <laughs> training harder and eating, you know, much better and eating a lot more protein and, and dialing your, your diet and your program in makes a huge difference. And don't get me wrong, that can put muscle on and get really crazy lean and look fantastic, even if I didn't change anything. But, you know, I just want you to know what's going on, be fully transparent, um, some of the muscle gain will be because of the increased testosterone. And that's just a realistic, you know, expectation of what's going to happen. So um, I don't expect to gain a lot. I weigh somewhere between 183 to 184, 185 right now on any given day when I weigh myself in the morning. So I'm a little light. That's because I'm only on 60 milligrams and I'm holding very little water in my skin and on my body because I'm so low. Um, that's just what's happening. So as soon as I load up the testosterone a little more, I will hold more water. So the weight will go up just because of, of the extra water in the muscle and everything. So that's that's going to happen. I would expect, you know, I'll lose some fat and I'll gain some muscle and I'll be somewhere between 185 and 190 for stage weight. I think probably closer to 185 because I got to lose some some fat, at least five maybe up to 10 pounds of fat. So if I do gain about an extra five, potentially 10 pounds of water and muscle, that'll offset it. So we should almost stay the same, essentially. It'll even out by the end. I might initially gain a little more weight, but by the end, I'll probably be around 185. That's my guess. Uh, and I think that would be a great weight, healthy weight for me to be. I'm six foot. Uh, you know, I'm going to be doing physique. And I'm probably going to be doing classic physique just because I love the posing. I love doing a program, the classic physiques. So here's my phone again. Yeah. Um, and it's Costco. It's my pharmacy calling. So I'm going to answer it, but I'll be right back. No. And they're gone. Yeah. We're, and they're gone. This, this video has been, this is the fourth time I've been trying to make this video. So I'm going to plug through it. So yeah, so that's kind of where we're at. Um, I I think I'll do okay getting back to the the competitions. So for classic physique, coming in at 185, I'm pretty sure at my height, I can be um, 208 or something like that, or maybe in as, even as high as 212. So I'll be definitely one of the smallest guys on stage, but that's okay. I'm totally fine with that. I'll be the smallest guy on stage, but I'll be the happiest guy on stage, and I'll be there with the most to prove. So uh, it's not about the, the plastic trophy. For me, it's just about getting back to the stage and showing to myself and proving to everyone else, proving to myself, proving to everyone else that, hey, you can do this. Um, you know, no matter what life throws at you, there's always, you know, there's always hope. There's always the ability to fight back, to get back, Never give up. I mean, just keep trying. I don't. I mean, I don't know what to say. Like I said, I mean, when this was all going down, I, I was just my goals were so different, and my goal was just to survive. And now, you know, I'm beyond that. So why not? Once you get beyond your goal, set a new goal, right? Don't just get to the goal that you 
already set for yourself. Push yourself harder, right? There's always more. Life's always got challenges. And you know what? Just do it, right? Just just get out there. Don't make excuses. I think that's enough. Um, there's going to be obviously a bunch of videos that pertain to uh, all of the stuff that's been going to go on over this next five weeks or so. It's five, six weeks because I'm, I'm probably going to do both shows. But I Because why not? If I've trained for the first show and there's another one a week later, why not do it? You know, especially if I have a good result um, at the first show, which is a regional show. Then for the international show, there's an invite for that. But I don't believe you need to be invited. I think that if you do get top three in the, in the regional show, I think you just get basically placed into the next show. Possibly you don't have to pay for it. I'm not sure. But why not do that show? It's like literally a week later. I'll be in pretty good shape, obviously. And I might even be in better shape a week after that. Because sometimes you can really dial it in with that one extra week. Um, where, you know, where you weren't really planning for, and all of a sudden you're really close to dialing it in, but you just need like that one more week um, to dial it in. So hopefully that's all going to go well. Um, I'll keep you posted. I'll be doing shorts. I'll be doing, you know, some a little bit more videos, just regular videos, normal YouTube videos, um, following the whole journey uh, to this new show that I'm about to do. All right. Wish me well. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, take care.